How to increase winning rate with moving average. Maybe most people will buy in when fast line crossed slow line upwards and sell out when slow line crossed fast line downwards. It's a very easy and normal way in trading market. But it's also a mistake which almost every beginners will make. Because this strategy only works in trending market. But in range, you will lose your money because of too many noisy. In this video, I will introduce you a strategy with moving average you never heard to help you increase your winning rate. Before we start, don't forget to click like button and subscribe my channel. First, a good setting. The mistake that most beginners will make is using original setting of moving average. But they don't know original setting doesn't have a high winning rate. In real trading market, professional traders always change original settings. Take myself as example. Open trading view, click indicator and choose EMA indicator. We can see the original length setting is 9. Now we need to change it into 21. This number can be used in 4H chart and 1D chart. Because this number is from Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is also very popular in trading market which is a well-known golden mine. So we change another EMA setting into 55 using moving average crossover strategy. There will be more profit after changing setting. And the entry signal will be more accurate. I prefer to change moving average setting this way. And you can click link here to get more EMA setting strategy in this video. Second, using right indicator as assistance. As we all know, moving average crossover strategy doesn't work in range market. Because moving average line will cross too often and bring many false entry and exit signals. But if we combine moving average with another indicator, we would get more accurate entry and exit signals. Here I introduce an indicator called KDJ to increase winning rate. KDJ is a latest and practical indicator these years. It react the market faster and more accurate in range market. If the winning rate of the single indicator was 40%, the winning rate of the multiple indicators would be 90%. Next I will tell you how to use KDJ indicator to filter frequent trading signals from swing trading. Click indicator and find KDJ indicator. Here we use the original setting of KDJ. The KDJ indicator has K line, D line and J line. The K line is fast line. D line is slow line. J line is the most sensitive line. The rule of KDJ indicator is like moving average crossover strategy. When fast line crossed slow line upwards, it's buy signal. When slow line crossed fast line downwards, it's sell signal. Combined it with moving average strategy, it's also very easy to use. It's a buy position when price was above EMA 55 and EMA and KDJ both occurred golden cross. But you need to ignore the signal when price was below EMA 55 but KDJ gave you a buy signal. For sell position, it also works. It's a sell position when price was below EMA 55 and EMA and KDJ both occurred death cross. When KDJ gave a sell signal but price was above EMA 55 then you ignore this sell signal. The way above fits to trend market. If the market is on a range like this, there are still some differences. In swing market, EMA line will give you frequent buy or sell signal. So we should weighted KDJ more. So we need to buy in when KDJ occurs golden cross in a low position and sell out when KDJ occurs death cross in a high position. Take golden one as example. When EMA lines go flat and the market is on a range like this, if you still use EMA crossover strategy, you will receive too much false signals. However, if you buy in when KDJ occurs golden cross and sell out when KDJ occurs death cross, you would get a good profit. This is the strategy which combined EMA and KDJ indicators. And it's a good trading strategy that you can use it in your daily trading. Hope you can take 2 seconds to click like button and subscribe my channel. Then you will get my latest video immediately. I will share more trading strategies in my channel. Thanks for your watching. See you next video.